Whenever I'm doing research or gathering design inspiration, I usually have a ton of browser tabs open. Sometimes I remember to bookmark things or save them somewhere, sometimes I don't. And either way, I end up frantically searching for it when I need it. But this Notion workflow has allowed me to automatically save everything I need from the web and catalog and search it in Notion so easily and close all of those browser tabs. So first thing we're gonna do is set up a swipe file in Notion. So what is a swipe file? A swipe file is just a way to collect bits of information, blog articles, design examples, and store them and sort them. The best part about this is that if that content gets taken off the web or deleted, you still have your very own copy to refer back to inside of Notion. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an empty page in Notion, and then I'm going to name this swipe file. Now using the slash command, I'm going to search for an inline database to insert it into this page. I'll type in database, select inline, and I'm going to keep it as a table. And then I'm going to name this database table, and you can call it swipe file if you want. You can call it inspiration, web clippings, whatever it is. And then I'm gonna add some tags. So in this column, I'm gonna make sure to select type multi-select. And then once I add that, I can start typing in the tags that I wanna use. I have a few here like UX design, productivity, mental health, mobile design, web design. And later on, I'll show you how to set up different boards to sort through those views. So this is all that you need as a baseline to start your table. Next, we're gonna install the browser extension for Notion. So we're gonna search for Notion Web Clipper, and this is available for Chrome, Safari, Firefox. It works on mobile and desktop. I'm using Chrome, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it for that. And once you've done that, you'll see that it adds a little icon up here in your toolbar, and it says save to Notion. So now let's say that you're browsing the designer of blog, and you find an interesting article that you wanna save. All you have to do is click on it, then click on the Notion Web Clipper. Now you can find the database. This is the one that we added called Design Inspiration. And make sure to select the correct workspace if you have multiple ones, and then click Save Page. And then you can open this up in Notion. And back over in Notion, you'll see that it's created a page here in this table for that article. It's added in the URL, and when I open this page, the entire article has been copied with all of the text and the images directly to Notion. So this is amazing because now you can reference this, you can pull out quotes, you can use it in your own study material. It's extremely handy. And then back over in the table, I might tag this one UX design and productivity, for example. Now let's say I wanna collect some more visual design inspiration. I'm over here on Dribble and I click on this and then I do the same thing. I click on a post and then I save that page to design inspiration. And back over in Notion, when we open the page, you can see that it's clipped that dribble image right to our board. So the other thing that we can do to make this more visual is add more views. And to do that, all we have to do is hit the plus icon that's under the title. And then I'm going to create a gallery board for this. And as you can see, it's gonna pull an image from the post or a GIF and add it as the cover to this gallery board, which is very cool that it does that automatically. And then I might add a filter here. For example, I want to filter tags that only have web design in this gallery view. And therefore, when I'm in my table and I tag these two things with web design, Anything in this gallery view that's tagged with web design will show up here and I can rename this to match. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this web design. And that way I can create a bunch of tables with filters in different views using everything from this master database that clips all of this web content. It's just an incredible way to collect inspiration and keep notes and articles all together in one place.